Hi guys, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm excited to show you a brand new product that we've been working on for quite a while and it is our new line of tripods. So we're going to have two tripods, uh, one in carbon and one in aluminum. Both have basically the same specs, it's just the material difference. So every tripod is going to come in this really nice carrying case here. Um, let's take a look what's inside. So once you open up the bag, you're going to have your actual tripod here itself. And then you've actually got a carrying a strap so it'll clip onto the bag here so you can use that as a shoulder strap if you want. And then there's just a couple tools on the inside here. We've got um, an extension piece and two Allen keys. So the Allen keys will show you later as well as this extension piece here. So this is the carbon fiber version. Um, it's very short so it'll fit into any backpack when you're traveling. It's very light. So the carbon version here is four pounds um, including the head on here. The regular aluminum version is 4.7 pounds. So this will go up to five and a half feet and its minimum height is one foot as well. Really nice thing about these tripods, even though they are so light and compact, they're going to carry a 44 pound head load. Um, and when you compare that to the actual weight of the product, I mean, it's a very high ratio. So you can put even your heaviest gear on here. So to set this tripod up, what we're going to do is these legs fold in reverse here. So all I'm doing, I'm just pulling these down and they're going to lock right in. So just down like that and then that's going to be our lowest position. We can adjust the center column to whatever we want but you can get this to sit basically right on the ground. Now a couple of features I'll show you in a close-up and then we'll move it to the floor is the actual leg lock itself here. So to adjust this leg you have this very nice button in here and what this does to adjust the leg position you're just going to release a little bit of the tension and that's spring loaded so it just slides so if you want to bring it out of position you just move that lock but when you're coming back down you'll see it click into place there in the different positions so it's got a three position um, for the leg so you just do that. One of the awesome things about this tripod is that for this low price it actually comes with the head and this is not a cheap head. This is an aircraft grade aluminum head, fluid motion, uh, Arca Swiss compatible as well and like I said included with both versions of the actual tripod. So let's take a look at some of the closer features on the head here. First off you're going to notice these numbers in the front and we've got a little indent right there. What that allows you to do is just show your uh, pan control so you can see actually in degrees how far you've turned it. Our pan control is controlled by this dial and once we loosen that off it will just turn back and forth like that. Now when you've got your camera up top here the way that we adjust um, the position of the camera is by this lever right over here. Simply all we're doing is just twisting that and now we've got full positioning on it. We can turn it, we can dump it 180 on the front and on the back here so you can do side shots as well which is really nice. The other thing about this lever, if, you're, if you've got it into a position you don't like it, the camera's blocking it or something, all you do just simply pull that out, it's spring loaded and you can reposition the lever uh, wherever you want it. Uh, Going up to the top here we've got a couple of levels as well so we have a level right there and then we also have a bubble level over on the side dial as well. So that's really handy if you're doing landscapes and trying to level off if your camera doesn't happen to have a level on there. Now I mentioned earlier that this head is Arca Swiss compatible. That's a big deal. Um, a lot of people use the Arca Swiss system already. Um, so what you can do is easily take this plate out. We just back off this screw right here and this will come right out. And you can know this is Arca Swiss by the little triangle uh, right there. 
We've also got a thumb screw on the bottom and yes, we did put the D ring so you don't have to use coins to tighten this onto your camera, which is really nice. To put it back, just make sure that's folded and just tighten it down with a couple quick tightens. So that's the head. Let's move on to the rest of the body of the tripod. So guys, to set this tripod up, you have these turn locks right here. And a lot of people ask, what's the difference between a twist lock and like the flip lever? Usually you're gonna find the twist on higher end tripods. The reason is because it's much quicker, especially in our climate here in Canada and Alberta. You know, if you're outside and you got big winter gloves on or something, the nice thing about these is you can just take your whole hand right here, give it a twist like that, and the legs are all disconnected. So you don't have to go flip, 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 and then those things get cold and break and everything. These have a nice rubber on there, so it's really super easy to do. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, these twist uh, locks is just a quarter turn. So you'll feel it stop. You don't have to go past that. You don't have to unscrew this the whole way. And our system actually prevents this from being unscrewed. A lot of the tripods out there, you can go too far, untwist it, and then the whole leg pulls right out of it. So this is a really nice system for that. Wherever you see the blue indicator, so on the legs, and you'll also see it on the center column here, that means that that's an adjustable uh, part of the tripod here. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna just flip these legs into position and really easy, they lock into place like that. Now all I'm doing, grab all three of them like that, twist and then pull straight out and then just a quarter twist back the other way and now they're locked into position. So it's much quicker than using flip levers uh, I find. Okay, so this tripod right now is at full height. With the center column up, it's five and a half feet tall. Um, I'm 6'1", so you can kind of see, if I have a camera on here, camera sitting up here, um, you really don't need it much higher than that in most situations. Now, to control the height, we've also got the center column here, and when you're not needing it that high, you know, I recommend having this lower. It's just gonna be more stable on the actual um, head here. Now, this tripod also has a couple other cool features. On one of these legs, what you're gonna notice is the word monopod. So this tripod actually has another feature where this leg is going to unscrew and we just turn it that way and we're gonna disconnect the center column. So let me show you how to do that right now. Just before we set up the monopod, you're gonna see this spring down here and this is spring loaded. It just pulls out the bottom of the center column here and so you can see it's on a spring. What that's for is it's a bag hook. So you can take your camera, backpack, or whatever, a sandbag if you wanted, and center that on the actual tripod. That's gonna prevent any sway in high wind or anything. So that's a really nice feature as well. But to use the monopod, we actually need to disconnect that. And the way that we do that is we're just going to unscrew this base here. So I'm making sure that the center column is tight and I'm just unscrewing from here you're gonna see that pop out, okay? You don't wanna lose these pieces or anything, um, so you'll just set that in your pocket. Then what we're gonna do is take the center column, back that off, and it's gonna pull right out like that. And in here, we're gonna see we've got the um, insert to put the monopod in. So the way we're gonna do that, look for the monopod, it says monopod right on the top, and we are just going to unscrew that until that pops right off. So I'm gonna set the legs down here. Now all we have to do is take those two pieces and just attach them just like that. So now we've got a really nice monopod. Uh, if we're at sporting events where you can't set up, uh, an actual tripod, this becomes really handy. Or you're at you know, your kid's graduation or something, 
you can take this along with you in really bad lighting situation and get longer exposures um, with this monopod. Again, still fully adjustable so we can quickly bring this back up. Um, and then if we were actually traveling with that, you would just separate it here again. So you've got just these two short pieces to travel with. You remember when we started the video, you had a little bag inside the carrying case that had some Allen keys and this uh, silver piece here. So what this silver piece is, it's an extension for the bottom of the center column. So what you will do is you're gonna take, this is the hook that we took out of here because we just converted the monopod. You're gonna take that and there's a female end right in here. So all we're gonna do is just put those together. So you're gonna screw that all the way in there. Once that's tight, this will screw right into the bottom of the monopod. Please make sure you're not cross-threading this. There should be no resistance on that when you're putting it in. And we're just going to do that until it's tight. So what that allows you to do is if we had the center column, you know, up to this position, sometimes it's tough to get a backpack or something in close tight here. So if we have our bag again, now we can have it just a little bit lower when we hook on. So a lot of backpacks, you know, they're quite wide and the handle's only this deep. So this just allows you a little bit more room to hook on to that. If you're not using the counterweight, I would recommend just keep that in your carrying case and you can use it when you need it. One of the other tools you're gonna to have in your bag is the Allen key. This Allen key is used to tighten the tension on the leg. So if you see these screws down here, this is controlling. So if we back that off a little bit, it controls the stiffness of that leg moving. So to adjust it, all we would do is just put the Allen key right in there and you want to make sure it's securely in there because you don't want to strip this bolt at all and you're just going to add some tension and loosen either add tension or loosen it off and then that will adjust your leg either quicker or um, slower so you can try that if you don't like the tension that it comes with out of the box one of the great things about this tripod as well is that you can remove this head. If you've got a favorite ball head that you like to use, um, you can easily take this off. The way that we're gonna do that, we wanna make sure that this tension screw is tight, and then we're gonna grab the head. You have two kind of kerneled rings there. You're just going to twist that and unscrew it until it pops off. Then we have the female end and then the male thread there as well. So you can put any um, head on there that uses a standard uh, socket. If you shoot a lot of video, we've got a great solution for you as well. You can check out the Strobe Pro video head. It's a compact um, fluid head as well and works great on this tripod and it will attach just the exact same way. You'll just screw it on there just like that and then tighten it down. So you can check out a separate video on that head uh, if you do a lot of video. So you might be wondering to yourself, what should I choose, carbon fiber or aluminum? Well, it depends on a couple of things. The nice thing about the Strobe Pro aluminum is that it's actually really lightweight compared to other aluminum tripods. It's aircraft grade, it's very strong, and it weighs only 4.7 pounds with the head. Now, when we compare that to the carbon fiber, that only weighs four pounds with the head. So if you do a lot of hiking, uh, backpacking, or airline travel, you might want to go with the carbon fiber because, you know, three quarters of a pound is a lot when you're carrying it all day. If not, if you're just using general studio use and, you know, you're transporting it around in your car, then the aluminum is a great option. The other main difference between aluminum and carbon is going to be the strength of the leg. So if you're prone to heavy abuse on your equipment, you know, you're throwing this in with other stands and that kind of thing, 
aluminum can eventually get dented, whereas carbon fiber will not dent. And carbon fiber is technically about five to eight times stronger than aluminum. So those are really the two differences. The weight and the possibility of damaging the leg is less on the carbon fiber. To fold this up, it's really easy. The first thing we just wanna make sure is that we've got the center column lifted all the way to the top here. That's gonna allow us to bring the legs up. So to bring the legs up, we're going back to our lever right here. If we just push, if you'll see I can't move that lock when I've got the leg fully extended out. When I push it down a little bit, then the lock activates. So the lock will activate like that. And I just want to loosen those all off, bring them all in, grab them all and just tighten them. And then I'm gonna bring that leg right to the top. And then I'm just gonna go around and do the other two legs. And now we're nice and compact. If you happen to have the screw like hitting one of the legs, for example, like if I had this hitting here and it's not collapsing all the way, you can just position the pan control so the legs all come into the middle if you have to adjust that screw, just like that. So now it's nice compact. We can throw it back into our case or throw it directly on our backpack. One of the great things about the StroPro tripod series is that it is backed by our two-year StroPro comprehensive warranty. That includes parts, uh, we can ship those to you or we can service it right here in our shop in Calgary. One of the things you're gonna think is like, how can this tripod be so inexpensive? Is it actually good quality? Yes, I can assure you, this is the best quality tripod you're gonna find on the market. And at this price, it's really unbeatable. Normally you would pay more than this just for a head, but you're getting the full carbon fiber or aluminum with the head, with the bag, with the warranty at an unbeatable price. So make sure you check out both versions, all the specs, everything are on the website. Um, if you're interested in the video head, there's a separate video on that as well. Check it out. And until next time, I'm Jesse at Shiropro.com. Mm -hmm.